asking about uh, evidence of Makkah before Islam. Yeah. I think Brother Adnan should be able so to answer that question. Oh, yeah. You, you probably yeah. know him, right? Yeah, okay. yeah so uh, you still have the same question? You still have the same no, question? All I mentioned was that uh, apparently, you know, given the latest research, investigations into oh, Islam, that there, there, is, there are no maps of that time that mention Mecca. Because Mecca was a very small town? Yeah, but that's not what Muslims claim. They claim it was the largest None. town and a major trading port and all this. Now, all of a sudden, it's, it was a tiny little village. And no, no. also, yeah. you might answer this, because I was going to bring it out with, with Mansur, but he just kept rambling on. Right? It says in the Quran, when it describes where, where um, Muhammad was living, it was having olive trees and in a valley. Where does well, it say that? It, it does, it does say Olive that. trees where he lived? Yeah. Show me. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm well, ignorant. I can't show you. Can I? I mean, I'm, but this claim... So you're I, claiming I'm, it doesn't say that? No, it doesn't All say right, that. Well, I'll come down next, next Sunday and I'll bring it to you then. You can Google it right now if you want. Well, I haven't got a phone. I don't carry a phone. Because it doesn't say where he lived was olive trees. Olive trees and valley. In Mecca? Yeah. It doesn't say that. Mecca is not even mentioned in the Quran. Well, it's, it's mentioned once It's Bakka. Twice, Bakka. Yeah, yeah. It's Bakka. The word for Mecca in the Quran is Bakka, which is the same word in the Bible to describe the same city, the same... No, I understand all that. Yeah. I, know, I know that it's me and, that Baka is mentioned in the Bible. And, However, there is some dispute as to... And the same word in the Quran. Because I've looked up Baka. I've looked up Baka mm -hmm. on, on a map, and it does exist. It's not Mecca. Right. It's another place. The problem with biblical geography... It is, it is down that way, but right. it's not Mecca. Okay, but so this is the problem. Biblical geography is not established. There are two things, or few things, actually, with the Bible. The chronology of the e Egyptians, or... Egyptian chronology is not established. There are always estimates people use to describe the periods of the pharaohs and the kings and the dynasties. Okay, so, so, so they have uh, ranges. So this could be between from this period to this period. They, are, they can never say anything for certain when it comes to Egyptology. Likewise, biblical geography is like that. There are three Arabias according to the Bible. Oh, sorry, three Purans, not Arabia. Three Parans, okay? Scholars have identified three valleys of Paran, which is, if we were to read it, uh, re read the word in Arabic, it would be Faran, okay? Yeah, so Yeah, that's fair, that's, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, so there, is, there is a settlement called Baka. Yeah, there was, there, no, there was a settlement called, a, a settlement called Baka, yeah. and we claim that is Baka, and it, it was where exactly the, the well of Zamzam is today and where the Kaaba is. We, we're no, claiming no, that. Not on the maps I've seen. Ma okay, first of all, pre-Islamic maps, okay, let's say the max, map of Ptolemy. Ptolemy was a cartographer, you know about that, yeah, right? Yeah. Ptolemy, yeah? yeah? His map is not accurate. There is no map that was 100% accurate. Accuracy started to come in, I would say, after the 16th century, when European explorers went out and they started to draw maps that were relatively accurate okay in fact even up to the 19th century maps of the world were not fully accurate so that maps cannot be used as an argument to claim that mecca was not where it is today no that would be absurd we have many so reasons to that every we, other settlement is mentioned on these maps would not, indicate that mecca not, wasn't extant at that not time. necessarily no, there were major cities. Yeah, it's a fair, it's a fair assumption. No, no, they, they wouldn't just go. They wouldn't just go. Well, let's draw a map, but let's miss, miss Mecca out. Why? First of all, first of all, first of all, there are major cities that are mentioned in these maps, ancient maps. Yeah. Okay, Mecca. I am saying, I am saying, Mecca was not one of those. Mecca was a town. It was a small town inhabited by a very few people, maybe a few hundred, not even a few thousand, few hundred people. Okay, so why would that town be on a map of the world where people are using these maps to have an idea of major settlements like Carthage, like Rome, or like, like, uh, like uh, you know, ancient Egyptian cities, for example, or Tripoli, for example, um, in Lebanon, or Tripoli in uh, Libya, because there were three cities called Tripolis. Okay, so why would these major towns be mentioned and Mecca not mentioned because Mecca was a very small settlement it became significant after the rise of Islam that's it 
Mecca became important as a city, as a settlement after the rise of Islam. I am going to look into what the other towns are that are mentioned on these maps. Yeah. Islam. Okay. Any, anyway, what so, point does it make? I mean, if Mecca, let's say Mecca is non-existent on the maps, yeah. but it's still there. We have, we, 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 yeah. we know historically Muhammad was born in a city called Mecca, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he had followers. They followed him. They created a civilization. They created an empire, empire that was based in Medina and Mecca initially, and then elsewhere. So still, and elsewhere. Yeah, and then it moved to Damascus, then it moved to Baghdad, later on. to India and did a bit of, uh, yeah. a bit of massacring, didn't they, you know? Really? Oh, you know full well. <laughs> what Islamic do I, I know full of, well, but... The Islamic invasion of India was... Who did it? ...was particularly brutal. Who, who, who did it? It went on for centuries, didn't it? They made, they made pyramids of the skulls. Which one? The Bud Buddhists, where, what happened to all the Buddhist temples? Was what books well, are you reading? I, 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 I would like to know. I would like to know. I'll tell you where I've, there's a good article about it. It's on a, a Sikh website called Sikhnet. And there are quotes from diaries of the uh, invaders. So why don't you... Quotes why, from diaries. You, 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 Take the time and have a You look like an intelligent person. Discuss, I'm sure, I'm sure you, are, you are well read as well. Why would you go to, let's say, an anti-Islam website and read articles on Islam? Why, why, would, why would you say it's anti-Islam? Because a lot of the Sikhs see Islam as, um, as a brutal force. Well, I think a lot of the planet does at the moment, doesn't it? Um, the planet has been brainwashed. If the planet thinks... First of all, half the planet is Muslim. Okay. First of all, half the planet is Muslim, so not a lot of the planet. Half the planet is Muslim. And the other half is very decent people, very small minority of uh, phobes and xenophobes and Islamophobes. Yeah. They are the ones who think like this. I'm telling you, I'm being very honest. Majority of the British people don't even think like this, let alone the planet. Majority of the British people are very loving, compassionate people. They have perfect relationships with Muslims walking around. They don't think like this. Only Tommy Robinson style or type of people who, who have no education. Um, a lot of them are drug jobless, drug addicts and they are from a very uh, underprivileged background, unfortunately. Because they have failed in life, they blame the Muslims for it. Because Muslims have become the Negro of the day. Okay? Just as the Negroes, uh, so-called, were targeted in the U.S. for all the problems of the U.S. and then uh, and in the rest of the Western world, uh, just like the Jews were targeted once upon a time in Europe, and then there was a Holocaust. Now the Muslims are facing the brunt of this racist wave that's going through terrible, Europe. Yeah. Europe. I mean, so, so, so when will, when will, we're when, terrible. yeah, yeah, those, no, really bad, uh, those racist people are absolutely really terrible. Bad. They are terrible. All, those terrible all the racists, all the racists are terrible. You know? All the white supremacists, all the racist yeah. white people, I'm saying no racist no white people Islamic are terrible. All the decent white people no are part of the world. Uh, yeah. No, it doesn't no, exist. No, it doesn't exist. No, no, it doesn't no. We don't how believe. Much dimmy, how much is my dimmy charge this month? Sorry, how much is less it? If you, if, if you are less than, uh, your, less than taxes. your taxes. <laughs> less than your taxes. Less than. This is. I will show you what a dimmy paid. You want to see it? I will show you what a dimmy paid. I haven't got my reading glasses on. No, this, this is what a dimmy. This is what a dimmy paid. It's a gold coin. It's, it's a dinar. It's, not the point, it's a is dinar. It? No, that's the point. That is the point. And it is 4.25 grams of gold, which is equivalent to 250 pounds. A rich dhimmi, a rich Jew who may be a multi-millionaire, is paying one gold dinar. Yeah, but okay. It wasn't too and back then. sorry. It wasn't the value back then. The value it, it, wasn't that high back then. No, no. It was. Let's say they could buy a go a goat. They they could buy a goat. So, so, so my problem is those racist white people out there who are racist just because they don't like others. What do you they, think about colonialism? Yeah. What do you think are you proud of colonialism? What do I think about colonialism? Yeah, colonialism. colonialism. British, Br British, British, British. No, British, British. Colonialism? The worst, the worst, the worst colonialism. The worst colonialism. British colonialism. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. It's the worst. Why is it the worst? Let's talk about it. Let's talk, Let's talk about, about it. About it. Do you know how many million people died under British colonialism in India alone? You were talking about India early. In, no, no, no. The numbers he was talking about during the Muslim invasions of India are absolutely uh, uh, inflated and they are lies. No academic, no historian of the Indian history accepts those numbers today. But all historians, all major important historians are unanimous that the British colonial rule 
from 1880 to 1920, in these 40 years, 100 million people were killed. 100 million he people. no evidence for what he's saying. Here's the evidence. Oh, what's this? Watch. I'm going to give you the names of the scholars. Great haters who, are us. No, 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 no. They, they, they are white. They are white. <laughs> Those who wrote the articles are also white. So huh? it's not a bunch of Muslims huh? with turbans writing you these articles. You better move out, mate, if we're that nasty. Why? You better move out. No, no, no. I love, Why? I love British people. Well, I love about I story? love British people. Eh? I love British people. So but those about? those who are racist, I have nothing but sympathy for them. Those who are racist, because not all the British are you saying all the British people are racist? Said, never said any exactly. Thank you. So we we are mutually What's respect. The most we are mutually country every year that's voted. Oh, it's India, isn't it? <laughs> India, India is India's predominant. The most India, every year. <laughs> India is not Muslim, by the way. <laughs> if you, no, if you didn't know. know. Okay. Okay. Not. Yeah. So, so. So. Okay. So I'm going to show you the I'll article. Throw the flak wherever it's supposed to go. I'm not. I'm not picky. You know. Here. Here's the article. Where would you be without the British? Let's see. You'd have no aeroplanes, no telephones, Al -Jazeera, no Al -Jazeera, no telephones, one second. no vaccinations, no okay. inoculations, Al -Jazeera, no Al -Jazeera, You have nothing. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no heckling, no heckling. No. Al Jazeera article by two, uh, two scholars, two, by two scholars, Dylan Sullivan and Jason Hickel have written an article oh, on Al Jazeera, that. That, yeah, 2nd yeah. of December, 2022. The yeah. article is titled, How British Colonialism Killed 100 Million Indians in 40 Years. And then the subheading is, Between 1880 to 1920, British colonial policies in India claimed more lives than all famines in the Soviet Union, Maoist China, and North Korea combined. Right. First point of are you proud of that? First point are you proud of that? A simple mind. question. No, no, are you proud of that? Answer my question. The, first point do you condemn it? First point <laughs> do you condemn it? Let's do the condemning. Let's do the condemning game. Do you condemn it? First, first do you condemn it? First point of do you condemn it? No, answer my question and then ask me. If this I is how we feel on the media when we go on the media. How do, do you condemn it? Do you condemn it? Yeah, well, I'm you not condemn it. fucking Morgan, right? <laughs> do you condemn it? I, I ask you one question. Are you dismissing let's, this? Let's, Are you dismissing no, this? No, no, no. Let's, let, for the sake of argument. So keep your millions. For the sake of all the millions sake of, of people, argument, you yeah. Let's assume those numbers are true. They are. I mean, they are estimated. Right. So for the sake of this. Let's argument, assume a million is true. Let's assume. They claim a hundred million. No. Okay. Let's assume a million is true. Here's is the that question. still justified? Here's the question. Justified. Did we do it deliberately? What? Yes. <laughs> yes. Deliberately. One hundred percent. Deliberate policies of British colonial officers that killed estimated 100 million people according to this article and these historians. And we these two. Uh, yes. I, I no, not you. Not kill. you. No, no, no. Not, not you. Not me, British but, colonial officers. So, so they set out. Those who are racist. They set out to deliberately kill 100 million people. 100. Why? Why absolutely. Absolutely. So what's their motivation? Their motivation was to reduce the population of India. Okay. And save as much money as possible so that they can bring back that money to Britain. Britain was made during most of London, over 70 to 80 percent of London, the, all the historic beautiful buildings you see in red granite were made during the Victorian period. All the money, if not all the money, overwhelming majority of the money came from India. India was looted, bled dry. You don't believe me? There's a book by an Indian author called Shashi Tharoor. He has written this book titled Inglorious Empire. Inglorious Empire. In this book, he gives all the details how the British literally drained India dry of money and of food. And hundreds of millions of Indians died from 1750 to 1947 when the British came to rule as a colonial power. In India, they killed hundreds of millions of people deliberately as a policy. So, so this is what this is what all these racist people are not told about. The, the, all those people who are writing, I'm talking about the right. Those those people who are writing, who are destroying shops and businesses and causing havoc just because they think or they have conceptions like you do, right? They have misconceptions about Muslims. They have been. Uh, brainwashed by the Zionist paid drug addicts and thugs who are running around and they are brainwashing people like you. Like Tommy Robinson.
like Tommy Robinson, I'm talking about, and Douglas Murray, and Douglas Murray. These are the people who are brainwashing perfectly intelligent people like yourself, and then people, normal people like you, turn into monsters and they go and do writing, not knowing what the hell are they doing. And then the government comes down hard on them and gives them sentences. So. Why do you think? Why do you think they burned police vans, destroyed places of worship? Oh, why thank do you. Think they did that? Thank you for asking my opinion as an Englishman. Good. Yes. Right. Do you agree with them? Do you have any, do you have no idea. No, no, nothing to do with that. No, but there was Southport, the recent riots in Southport. Yeah, I know about the Southport thing. Yeah. Why do you think right. they burned the police vans? Okay, let's right, 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 just, just as an adjunct to that. Yeah. Let's just mention Southport. Why, when Southport happened, did everybody immediately think Muslims? Yeah. Why? That's what we want to know. Why? 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 Well, let's Tommy look, Robinson. Let's look at, nothing to do with Tommy Robinson. No. Nothing to do with Tommy who, who, Robinson. Who, who, who? We can, we, you know, we, we do hear things. We do understand what's going on. You know, I mean, the Westminster Bridge attack. Lee Rigby. All of these things. All of these. And the van driver. The van, the van driver. I allowed you what to was his finish. name? George. Okay, let him, let him I've allowed you to finish. Yeah. All of these incidents over the last yeah. 20 years involving, involving Muslims blowing up trains, blowing up buses, chopping people's heads off. Why would we think it's the Jehovah's think, Witnesses? So example? you think the Southport is because of that? No. no. So why? That's no, 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 no. The question was, you mentioned Southport. Yeah, so why I'm do you think saying, that happened? I'm just saying. I'm just he's, saying got, he's got a fair point. Just, he's got a fair point. Yeah. He's saying because of all these incidents, so build up naturally, the, naturally so, yeah, the, you, perception, the perception is that a Muslim might have done it. But guess what? The reason why you have this perception is because of the brainwashing. Because there are white people, white people committing so worse crimes. Facts. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. When did you hear last, when did you hear last a white man walked into a shopping mall, sprayed people dead? Brevik in Norway killed over yeah, 70. Why did he do that? Uh, wh wh are you going to blame Muslims for that no, as well? No, 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 okay, no, okay, then, not. okay, okay. Thank God for that. That we're not getting blamed for that. Why did okay, you do that? so so the point I'm making is there are there are terror attacks taking place all around the world from all sorts of different people. Okay, they are white, they are black, they are Muslim, they are Christian. Wait, wait. Only the Muslims are magnified. Okay, only not this is magnified. the point I'm making. They are magnified because go on Ray, Ray, Raymond Ibrahim's site and just look up. Who the hell month. is that? Well, there you go. Look him up. Well, I I oh, read I read academics. I read academics. Jolly good. I Raymond I just I just pulled out two academics and showed you the numbers. Excellent. Raymond Ibrahim's site and every, I, I don't know who every, that is. Well, you're, then, you're, then learn. You're maybe. you're okay. you're you're are reading. Are you interested in anyone else's story or are you? No, I'm not interested. In, I know you're on camera and you're gonna you're gonna do your dawa on camera. That's fine. That's how do how, how do we do that? However, however, <laughs> how do, how do so however, Raymond Ibrahim has a site, a website. Who is that? I don't know who that is. It doesn't matter whether you know who he is or not. So any Tom, Dick, and Harry can have truth. You, 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 you're not Robert Spencer. Ra yeah, I know Robert Spencer. Raymond so you want me Ibrahim, to take information from Raymond him? Raymond Ibrahim yeah. is also an academic. Okay. Okay, I don't know right. him. Raymond Ibrahim on his website every month he has a list of Isla Islamic attacks around the world, say in northern Nigeria or in Pakistan, against Christians. Similar to Robert Spencer, Jihad Watch. He also has a list yeah, of uh, uh, attacks. Jihad okay. Yeah, so it's pretty, so pretty now sober now reading, now if it? you if you were not being fed if you were not being fed yeah. by no one no no one no one's chopping anyone's watch. head off screaming oh, okay. in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I, I, I'll tell you uh, I'll tell you in New Zealand in New Zealand in New Zealand you on the were you? No, actually the president said thank God. No 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 wait 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 wait. When, oh. when the British colonial officers, anyway, wait, wait, my yeah, point, yeah, 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 we're coming to that. When the white guy, the Christian white person in New Zealand walked into a mosque, sprayed 50 people dead yeah. on his gun, he had Christian symbols and dates yeah. that denote famous battles like the Battle of Kosovo 1389 the First Crusade and things like that. He was a crusader. He was a Christian. Brevik, Brevik, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm on, Brevik, on, Brevik who killed over 70 people in Norway and is serving lifetime right now uh, in Norway. He, in his manifesto, he mentioned people by name like Robert Spencer and inspiration from him. And he mentioned Knights Templars, okay? All these things. So don't give me this BS that only the Muslims are doing these things and others are not, okay? You 
have been brainwashed by your Zionist Islamophobic media that is doing this brainwashing of the masses, making them think that only the Muslims are committing these atrocities and crimes. Even let's take grooming, grooming gangs as an example. We say put those scumbags in jail, Pakistani, Nigerian or English or English. OK, wait, 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 one, okay, one, one sec. Hello, everybody. He's saying we are the first condemned. We have no we, we are saying we condemn all of them. OK, so 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 no talk, talk. I'm not asking you not to talk. Look, when you have no answers, you can you want to walk away. I know. I understand. I understand why you're walking away. I understand why you're walking away. I, you're dead. So continue. Continue. You want the mics? I've had all kinds of conversations in these countries with Muslims. Okay. Okay. I've known thousands of Muslims in So then life, why are you okay? citing I've got sources? I've no qualms about standing here and having a conversation. But you're just Let's saying do it. you'll run into the camera. I'm here with my Okay, son. I'll talk to you. We've come wherever he's gone, and we've come here for a chill out, a bit of a chat or whatever, but I'm not going to stand here being a part of your little sideshow. Continue, I'm continue. Will you, will continue. You no, you, you want an answer to why the guys are right. Yes. I was standing here as a bloody Englishman. But you gave me... As an Englishman... You said read some Abraham's guy who has a list, who has a list of our catastrophes. fighting in. You guys can't help yourself. No, because you're making claims you that you cannot yourself. see. I would explain to you you're what making the claims. riots were about. Yeah. I would do that. And you explain. But you're just doing your dawah no, here. No, right? you, well, you explained. You explained. You said there is a guy documenting Muslim would... crimes and I'm highlighting the problem. I'm highlighting the problem. That's what I'm doing. You haven't even identified the problem. I have, you don't even know I have, why the guys were fighting. Listen, I do. No idea. I do. They were brainwashed. Not even they are, they are not brain, even They are close. mostly uneducated drug addicts, thugs, not thugs, even racist close. scumbags. Not even they are the ones who are rioting. They are the ones who are rioting. You're People not, who have no brains. People who have no brains. They are the ones who are rioting. Ombre, you're not even close. Okay. And Tell so us then. Educate, educate, well, educate, educate me. Educate me. Educate me. No, you have a chance to educate thousands of people out there. Why, educate them. Why Tell I? them why the rioters did what they did. Why Tell them. I? Why, why not? Because there are so many people who I want to know. know. An Englishman's view. But you can't just get upset and walk away. Without He's interruption. Allowing, I'm telling you to speak. No, just interrupt. He, that's what you guys okay. always do. Okay, go on. Always go on. Speak. Go on. Speak. Maybe speak. Maybe next Sunday. Speak. Maybe. I don't need a chance. Come on, I don't need a chance. I know why he's upset. I know why he's upset. Don't be upset. Talk. Talk. I'm just bored. Talk. I'm bored. Talk. You tell guys, us why the rioters. Do, tell us. You see me as a white guy and you think, oh, here's a little victim. Well, one thing for sure. No, I didn't think that. I'm no victim. I didn't think that. But you go, oh, I'll stand here and I'll get my face on camera and try and humiliate this guy. I have that no lack of cameras. I could pull some stuff out of my rear end about Mohammed, right, and put you on the spot. Okay. Which I go ahead. Mansour really kind of dodged it about, oh, well, you know, no, the bizarre. You, you, you want what? Hey, have some what? Have some what? Have some what? Have some what? But he never, no, ever, ever gave Have some what? Never have, some have some okay. water. Have some water. We both agree that have some water. we should condemn it's impossible. It doesn't matter what background they're from. Wait, no, you're you're, you're just impossible. ranting. You're not talking. Uh, take water. Take water. Take water. He's, he's, he's not going to get lost. He's, he's, uh, no, no. Take water. Take water. Have a sip. Have a sip. Uh, we'll start again. Tell us why the rioters are justified to riot. Tell us. Did I say they were justified? Yeah. No, no, you didn't. No, no, okay, okay, okay. Correct me, correct me. I'm wrong. Next week. Okay. So, 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 look, 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 look. So, the problem is, the problem is, when we have an informed... We're definitely next week. I will tell you I want week, it now. Right? I want no, it now. You have convictions now. I like all the women I know. I want it now. No, next week we can have the conversation. Listen, listen. But you have to no, understand, no. you have to allow me to speak. I speak now. You allow me I'll to give you the no, I'll no, give no. you the mics. You've got your side show going on. No, you and I don't I, care about the show. You are genuinely interested. I am, you, I'll take I am trying to educate people. To I'm trying to educate people. If you want to go, that's fine. You can so, go so, London, so, 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 thank you very much. Like so, I, I'm just finishing this. Right. Okay. The reason why we were having this conversation is to highlight the mindset that drives these rights and this behavior. It is very ill-informed, very ignorant, very, very under or uneducated. And the reason, the reason why 
we have to educate ourselves is to realize that when one particular community is magnified and they are, to, they are made to look like criminals and all other people are not treated the same way, okay, then what happens is you get genocides, you get riots, you get murders, you get acid attacks, you get mass murder. What happened to the Jewish people? Let me use the Jewish people as an example. The Jewish people in Europe were demonized and dehumanized to the extent that the Europeans committed many pogroms, many mass murders and genocides of the Jewish people. The numbers are so high that academics have written books on this phenomenon. Anti-Jew hatred in the Western world and the accumulation was the Holocaust. Okay, the Holocaust wasn't just born from a vacuum. Genocide is a process. People are brainwashed for a very long time before they end up killing each other. Just like what happened in Rwanda and, uh, and when, when those two tribes, the Hutus and the Tutsis, ended up committing a genocide against each other because there was a process of brainwashing. The Hutus were brainwashed into thinking that the Tutsis are cockroaches. They are not human beings. Feel no mercy. So hundreds of thousands of machetes were produced and they were supplied to people and they went out killing. In a hundred days, in a hundred days, a million people were killed. I have seen the memorials with my own eyes. The games these Zionists and their cronies are playing, they know what they're doing. They are already, they are already committing a genocide in, in, in Palestine. And, and, and to turn attention away from their crimes, because a lot of the British public went against them. When the British public saw all these bombings and, and ripped apart children, Millions children, of children of with blown up, blown up, blown away bodies, that, that's when the British people realized, hold on a second, is this what we are supporting? Is this what our government is supporting? Are these the people we are selling weapons to? This is when the Zionists realized that we have to create another problem in Britain in order to take attention away from us. So Islamophobia, deflect and cause hatred against Muslims. Start posting fake news or like the, 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 the incident in um, Southport is an example. As soon as it happened, three girls were stabbed. Three little princesses were taken away from their parents. Okay, what happens immediately these racist drug addict thugs on Twitter and amazingly Elon Musk is in it. He is in it. Not only that, he is a very close friend of Netanyahu. He has given back banned accounts of these people to them on Twitter. Tommy Robinson was banned from Twitter. Martin Sellner, an Austrian racist right wing uh, propagator was also and his account has been given back to him so that they can spread hatred against Muslims to cause riots to suppress and oppress Muslims at the same time take attention away from Zionist crimes and put attention on the Muslims so inflate Islamophobia because COVID gave us some respite the Western media BBC Sky News Sky, you know Fox News and CNN all these channels okay they were non-stop bombarding the Western audiences with Islamophobic content and inflating it. Even, I'll give you one classic example, how this media is working in this way. The grooming gang scandal. The grooming gang scandal where some girls were raped by some Asian, South Asian individuals. Rochdale and other places. That scandal was so inflated and those those people by the way are scumbags they should be thrown into prison and three keys should be thrown away we have no sympathy with such scumbags, whether they are white black green or blue okay whatever they may be whoever they are but amazingly amazingly what was said what was said even recently this woman this you know, unfortunate woman, Suela Braverman, she was saying the problem is with Pakistani men. The problem is with Pakistani men. But when we look at the statistics put by academics, we see that proportionally, proportionally speaking, in proportion to the populations and the numbers of people in this country, white men are the biggest 
culprits. They are the biggest number of child abusers and pedophiles. This is a fact. I will present it right now if you demand. Okay? There are academic papers and news reports that state that proportionally speaking, in proportion to the numbers of people in this country, in proportion to the populations, white people are the largest group that represent the number of pedophiles and child abusers. Not only in this country, but those who are traveling to Far East, Southeast Asian countries to have sex with younger girls. In Thailand, in Philippines, in Vietnam, white men throughout from the whole, from the entire Western world, not only Britain, from all over Europe, from Australia, because, because Australia is very close to Southeast Asia, and even from the US, they are traveling to Southeast Asia where they can easily find young girls to have sex with. Human trafficking as well. And human tra a lot. There's, so, so if we want to talk about child abuse, we should talk about it fairly, justly, not target one specific community and put the lens on them and try to claim that these are the only people who are doing it. Go for them. Make their lives difficult. Again, this is what we call brainwashing. And all of this is funded by Zionist paymasters who are paying for this propaganda against Muslims in the West because they don't want any Muslims to speak up about Palestine. They don't want any Muslims to feel the confidence and the courage to speak about speak up for the rights of the Palestinians. So that's why this dehumanization of the Muslims is taking place. They don't care if Britain burns. These people, don't, they are burning Palestine right now. They are firing rockets into the buildings and they are ripping little children apart. Why would they care about the children of Britain and the streets of Britain? They will put fire to Britain if it saves them. These people don't care. Who gives them the arms? Who gives them the arms? We are selling arms to them. Our government is selling arms to them. So this is the context. These riots did not just come from a vacuum. Rather, there is propaganda campaign behind it. There is concerted effort to inflate hatred against one particular community here and focus on them so that attention from Palestine can be taken away and the genocide that's taking place is ignored. So the British people suddenly become more interested in what's happening in Britain. Immigration. We say the same thing. We, the Muslims, are saying the same thing. Control immigration. If you open the gates of Britain, what are you going to do? What's going to happen? Well, half of Africa will be here. Half of Africa will be here, okay? Have controlled immigration. No country on the planet can open the floodgates to, of immigration into its house or into its, its, its territory. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get all sorts of people coming in who will cause problems here, right? So no one is for... But the question is, this is not about immigration. All of this sham that has been created on media and on social media in particular, uh, um, Elon Musk, who opened up all these accounts of racist thugs, drug addicts like Tommy Robinson, a drug addict, a cocaine addict. He caused riots here and then he went to Cyprus with his family to have a holiday. He's literally on a swimming pool on a bed and directing riots in Britain. And he's wanted for fraud. And he's wanted for fraud, Criminal mortgage. Yeah. Criminal damage, criminal activity, and uh, there are testimonies that this guy, he spends all the money these gullible English people give to him for his campaign. He spends them on hookers and clubs and cocaine. That's Tommy Robinson. By the way, did you notice the white supremacy spin that guy made? Oh, you guys wouldn't have anything without our inventions. I mean, these guys were in the dark ages when the Muslims were having... Medicine. Look, I believe, I, believe, know, med med I believe this was a human endeavor. Yeah. Muslims pioneered science and philosophy in Spain. Many Englishmen, German men, French men came to Spain. They learned the Arabic language. They took this knowledge back to these countries. And then we had the 12th century Renaissance. And then we had the 15th century Renaissance. This is another topic. How the Muslims influenced the world. What they don't like to talk about is the Muslim civilization. How we produce some of the greatest scholars, poets, thinkers, intellectuals, theologians, scientists, uh, some of the greatest observatories, some of the greatest work of science that were destroyed by the Mongols in Baghdad and then later on in Spain by the Catholics when they took Granada, the last stronghold of Islam and Muslims in Spain. Okay, this is another history. Coming back to Britain, 
what's happening here is is well planned it is intended and muslims are the target muslim community are the targets of this concerted effort to suppress oppress and to subdue our voice for the rights of the palestinians this is one of the reasons second reason for these riots and this hate campaign in britain is to turn the attention away of the british people from israeli crimes and make them think that the muslims are a real problem so islamophobia brother sorry sorry islamophobia 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 it it achieves many targets many objectives many many objectives okay sorry when you talk it disturbs me i do apologize yeah. okay okay no worry. so it achieves many objectives what objectives one it keeps the muslim population in living in the west subdued scared in a state of fear and they're going to they're not going to come out and campaign for the rights of the palestinians they shouldn't have the rights other people have this is the attempt second achievement from islamophobia is that no one none of these western masses will feel sorry for the palestinians when we blow up palestinian children when we rip them apart when half cut bodies are being pulled out of the rubble these british masses they will see these images and they because of islamophobia because of the hatred for islam and muslims they won't feel sorry for the muslims they won't feel any sympathy for them because we have taken away that sympathy we have dehumanized the muslims to the extent oh these are child groomers they are rape rapists okay they are terrorists they are extremists they are backward they are misogynists they hate women they oppress women all of these things are being put out on the media for a reason so that sympathy for the muslims is completely removed from the hearts and the minds of the western uh, audiences or western people i'm talking when i say the western people i mean germany france britain italy spain australia canada us this is a concerted effort global effort to demonize and dehumanize muslims so that there is no sympathy left in the minds of people and another 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 benefit uh, another achievement yeah when you you speak, i know you spoke about the islamophobes in particular yeah but most of the people who are rallying for palestine the pro palestine many of them are white europeans you know yes and, and this, is what, this is what scared this is what this is what this is what no, this is what this is what sent this is what sent shivers down their spines the spines of the zionists first time in the history of this country such a large number of british people white english british people okay even scots and the welsh and all those people put together they came out to condemn the genocide of palestinian people in gaza and this is why they came up with this new plan okay now turn the tide and turn it against the muslims put so much hatred on muslims that the british people forget about what's happening in gaza and they start hating the muslims and start rioting start rioting so and what happened is like these people who actually were pro palestine rallies not riots they came with their children they were all peaceful not a single police van burned or places of worship destroyed or they even had to deploy you know right police millions of them come and it happened like every week this road yeah. park lane park lane all the way, all park the way. lane over a million people marched i was i was a witness i was here myself over a million people marched from all backgrounds we saw all colors all races all religions all people walking here a million people okay violence? no violence no burning no rioting no damage to anyone's shops or property these thugs these drug addicts these racist thugs come out and they start burning and pillaging and they are only a few hundred so that's why those people out there who may think that this is what the british people are like you're wrong we know the good side of the british people we have seen it british people in general are some of the most noble and compassionate people in the world we have seen their compassion we have lived there for for decades i've been here for more than 25 years okay we have seen nothing but good behavior and compassion don't mistake few thugs for the entire nation just like i would say don't look at some muslim thugs and think that all muslims are like this no absolutely you need to see those professors those doctors muslims those um, computer scientists 
those consultants who are conducting, uh, you know, to just just for the lighter note, Princess Diana fell in love with a Pakistani guy because he was a heart surgeon, right? So if, if you don't, I don't know if you've seen this uh, movie, uh, Diana. Diana. Yeah, it's a very moving uh, story of Princess Diana. She 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 actually went into this operation theater. She saw the guy doing his job. She fell in love with him. Okay, of course she was single at the time. She needed a husband. The guy, he didn't want all that pressure. He said, please, uh, we don't know what he was told or said. Uh, uh, so the point I'm making is, these kind of people are working in hospitals. They are professors, they are doctors, they are engineers. They are contributing to the society here. Don't ignore them. They have given their lives and their blood and sweat to this country. Don't do this to them. Who have brought their families there, they have made Britain their home and they are contributing in a good way. Okay, don't use the bad examples to, uh, to uh, uh, ignore and underestimate the efforts of all those great people, Muslims uh, from all backgrounds who Not have given Muslims, their life what and sweat. Because without the immigrants, without the immigrants the, what would they All immigrants, all immigrants. I'm talking about Indians who are Hindus. I'm talking about all the Africans who are Christians who have come to this country. They have made a life for themselves. If someone is on drugs, in a council state and you cannot make your life better. It's not the fault of a Nigerian doctor. Okay, if you cannot go to school and college or university and educate yourself enough to have a, have a good future, this is not the fault of that Indian engineer or a Pakistani doctor. Okay, they have studied. Sorry, oh Bangladeshi. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> How can I forget Bangladesh? Okay. Absolutely. And, and, and the Bengalis. All the Bengalis, all the beautiful rest, white people in this country, they love the Bengali food. They go to Bengali restaurants and it's so tasty. So, so please try to understand. And also and in the care homes. Yeah. When you leave your old parents in the care homes, who will be looking after them? Immigrants. Most likely 70% immigrants. chances is an immigrant. Yes. yes. But again, at the same time, we are not in favor of loose, uncontrolled immigration. No one is. Yeah, yeah. That would be madness. You would have criminals coming in committing crimes here, right? Immigration should be controlled, it should be vetted, it should be uh, legal. Uh, legal. People should be allowed to come in legally uh, when they are needed. And there are many people who are bringing skilled labor into this country, Absolutely. right? They are bringing value to this the country. The NHS, the transport okay. system, yeah. you name and, it. And, and there's a beautiful thing here in Britain, right? So all those racist thugs working for foreign powers for their agendas, to destroy their own country. You are not nationalists. You are not someone who loves your country. You are nothing but just a bunch of drug addicts and you're doing it for fun. You're doing it because you like violence. You like to get drunk and get hooked or high and then go and commit the violence. The yeah, country. okay. Uh, and I'm not gonna say football hooligans because not all, all football fans are like that as well. There are a few individuals who have this kind of mentality and they belong in jail. And kudos to the government for charging some of these people and putting them in jail. Anyone who behaves like this, put them in jail. Anyone who riots and breaks apart property and terrorizes people, uh, communities, put them in jail. That's it. Kudos to the government. Kudos to the government for speaking okay, Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, bro. Sorry, I, I had to tell yeah, you. This. Yeah, no.